Bates. You are a full, hardcore, nose to the grindstone vegan. Mm -hmm. Not vegetarian, not every now and then fish, but I mean, it's all plant based, yeah. right? Plant based diet. I started eating this way um, about seven years ago. Really? And a lot of people, you know, they were like, well, how are you going to be strong? Like, what are you, you going to do? Are you going to lose weight? I actually put on more weight. I was able to eat a lot more, recover okay. a lot faster. Your protein source, people mm -hmm. always say, I mean, you're not eating hot dogs and you're not yeah. eating hamburgers and you don't even eat fish. Yeah. Where's your protein come from so with protein the way it's promoted to us it's promoted to us like in meat form but protein really just means first quality so i always deal with the hydration first so and going from there and then eating the plants we know it takes water to grow plants and we know a lot of these animals that we that we eat they eat the plants so that's how they're getting their protein so it's nobody's asking a cow how the cow got his protein so we always just start with the first quality just making sure that we're properly hydrated that's sincerely how we so get our basically protein. if you think of the cow as the middleman you've just yeah. eliminated the middleman yeah, just take the middleman out and just get right to the source is it your belief kendrick that much of what we're eating today Today. And I know we have a mutual friend in Dr. Jason mm -hmm. Maggio who believes that a lot of what we eat today now is hurting us, mm -hmm. causing inflammation, causing long term health issues. You must be a firm believer in that with regard to a lot of the protein we eat. We consume a lot of what we shouldn't. So moderation is very important. I'm, I'm big on a kosher diet, eating a clean, balanced diet, because you have plants out here that you can eat that'll take your life, berries that'll take your life, and that is a plant source. It's the same thing with the meat. So the thing is, you want to have a nice, balanced diet, eat clean. I personally choose the plant-based diet. Now, you were featured in that uh, documentary, God, I'm, you're going to know the name of it, that that I don't... The Game Changers. Yes. Yeah. And, and that was featuring Jackie Chan, Arnold Schwarzenegger, mm -hmm. I mean, some big names, and Kendrick Ferris was up on that, too, which I watched that oh, yeah. a long time ago, and I was surprised to learn how many people with really athletic bodies, mm -hmm. builds, and athletic, that's what they do for a living, this is what they believe in. Oh, yeah. You believe more Americans should be eating like this? We definitely should get more plants into our diet, more um, more variety. And again, the reason why I mentioned the moderation when it comes to people partaking in the meats, it's hard for a lot of people to just say, "Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it off." See, that's that's what I did, but I don't I don't recommend people do that. Just say, "Okay, I'm done eating it," and then just go this way. I always suggest that people just implement some meals. Um, what was the motivation regimen. for that? What were, were you feeling bad? Were you feeling sluggish? Were in your game? You were kind of like an old guy. Yeah. You know, I hope you don't take that. No, the wrong I don't. Way. I don't. That's that's is, true. Because I'm kind of like a broomstick. You could pick me up. <laughs> um, what was the the one or two biggest reasons that you said I am going to s you? I'm going to go. I'm going to yep. be a vegan. It was when my youngest son, right before um, he was born, um, he's about to be seven years old soon. But right before he was born, I had the thought, you know, um, I just wanted to be as healthy as possible, and I started doing research on our ancestry. This seems like it should work the best for me if this is my ancestry. I'm this type of vehicle, so I need this type of fuel. That's mm -hmm. how I was thinking. Nothing was like there that. any point, because you were still in competition mm -hmm. oh, at yeah. that point, that, oh, yeah. that you're thinking, I'm eating beans. Yeah. I'm getting protein from spinach. Yeah. You know? I'm 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 Popeye. Yeah. And, but, yeah. But but then you're competing against guys that are consuming probably, you know, tomahawk ribeyes every day. Mm -hmm. Were you a little bit intimidated by that change at first and wondered what the result would be, or did you see were the results immediate as far as how you felt and how you performed? I, I actually didn't feel like I was gonna be at a disadvantage. If you know a lot about weightlifting, then you know it has a it has a very dark side. And I've done my best to stay, you know, on the clear side. When you think about when you doping, say dark side, and dark you're talking side, like about doping uh, and PEDs, steroids, yeah. mm -hmm. steroids mm -hmm. things of that nature. So with me already going that path, I'm already going up against countries and different individuals who have been caught with this type of thing. So when it came to the food, I actually had immediate results. Like within a week, my sleep mm -hmm. was getting better. So that's our primary source of recovery, wow. like to be able to train, be able to rest, recover. And we know the food, obviously, eat, eat sleep, recover.